He likes that, Lynn. He wants to challenge you. Hey, Lynn, what do you think? Yeah, I think you got two points huh? here. Have we got a potential to have a little fun tomorrow morning? Mm. Huh? We have some fun right here tonight when it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of what he's got in mind. His ear tag is what, 991 or 99? Mm. What do you say, Big Bull? Oh my God, is he? Mm. He don't like you in here, does he, Lynn? Huh? Mm. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't get too far away from the vehicle down that way, Bobby. Why? Mm. Johnny, why? Because he might like you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big 13-inch mm. antelope up there going to shoot tomorrow. We're, We're going to try to get a hold of him. Yeah. Hey, John? Mm. Hey, Johnny? Mm. John? Mm. How did Bobby do on this one? Pretty good so far. If you can talk to this rancher into hunting his 17 acres, 17,000 acres here, we'll, we'll get some antelope here tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. Hunting. Brother Bob snuck up on one. I just got here. Judy and Lynn beat me. There's his angelobe. He's telling the story of his arm boy, of course. <laughs> oh boy. I shot him from up there, John. Would you come out of that wash up there? Oh no, I went down that hill and all the way back down in the coolie. And way up on the other side of these hills here. And his belly crawled up over the top of him. Right up on top of this knoll here? Huh? Well, that's good. A good stroke of business. Let's see. Hold him up. Hey, it's a buck. Did you shoot him right in his bed? No, they were standing. I felt they crawled and they stood up. They moved about 25, 30 feet. And they were kind of getting antsy. They knew something was wrong. I could have shot him in his bed the first time. Yeah. I kept thinking it over, belly crawling, and wishing it was something bigger, but that's all right, I'm happy. Yeah. After three days, I'd say so. I've been lucky every day. I've seen that one. <laughs> hey, if this is the end of it, very fun. <laughs> yeah, well, good. They went from here to there in my belly crawl, so from over there. Yeah. They were antsy, they were getting like this. They said, well, any minute, they're going to just bust loose. You know? Yeah. I kept hee-hawing and fighting. I said, God, <laughs> I, gotta, I guess I got to do it. But, geez, I had a hard time squeezing that trigger. Well, well after the conditions, though, the antelope being down, not all bad, you know Bob. What? Every year I've hunted antelope out here, I've shot a buck. Can't beat it. Don't Yeah. <laughs> well, we got fresh for this. had a bad haircut yeah. at one time. No, we didn't hurt the He's had a bad haircut at one time or another. Somebody he shaved him. Ball, I think that's why. How fresh? Yeah, it's not scabbed. Bear hide. <laughs> hey, it was a pretty good sneak up. Yeah, you've done a good job. It's the front shoulder, but there ain't much meat up there anyway. Yeah, he blew a hole through him. Oh, God. There ain't much to him anyway. No. Lynn said, did he, drive, did he go very far after that? <laughs> he knew. Nah, I don't think so. I think he Seven gave, mag. He gave up real quick. Seven mag. Seven yep. mag. There it is. <laughs> Place for a coon to crawl meat. in. Huh? Look how far it blew that meat over there. Yeah. Well, they're wicked. All them guns are wicked. Oh, he's about an eight-incher. Oh, I don't know. That'd be about 12 inches. That's what I'm always told. Think so? This big is 12 inches, John. Huh. That could be. I said, I bought this big is 12 inches. That looks like a 12 I look, inches. I figure more like about eight. Which one's the longest? Put the old 
<laughs> they could have ran anyway. And he said all the rest of them were those. Yeah. Eight and a quarter. How much? Eight and a quarter. I showed you eight inches, Judy. Oh, I don't know, John. I've always been told that's 12 <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Yeah. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he found him, he snuck on him, he did yeah. it. Yeah, done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> From when? From when I got it this morning? No, not the whole story, because it's only an hour and a half tape. Anyhow, I was walking this kind of place, putting along, we're all spread out through here, and I went up on that big hill over there, spotted these in the bed. Talked to you guys on the radio, decided to go back down in the coulee, come on around on the south side of them, see if I'd catch them in their bed, and I guess I was lucky enough to do it. Good. So I said a million you've seen the, You've seen them every day, too. If I get any happier than this, I wouldn't be able to stand it. Well, that's good. <laughs> Let's punch a tag and take them out of here. <laughs> I, I believe you, when I looked at them, I see there was no black. I know what I was looking at. That one, it wasn't the world record. Three days I've had, I've seen three bucks and I've shot at two of them, so. Need a jug. Huh? Need a jug. Celebrating, yeah. <laughs> Remember that schnapps mixture stuff in the. Yeah, there's some paper towels in the uh, Suburban. A whole roll of them, Judy. Okay. And they're somewhere. Nipsey Lacula. Awful good. kind of good, isn't it? It ain't big orange. <laughs> Lindy's going the direction in those ran. I didn't even know. I just figured from what I could see, I said it's got to be the first little kind of a yeah. uh, wash that was up there. You know, shit, you get way down there and come back up on that side, you don't know what you're going to see. Is it all open from that side down there? Oh, yeah. But it's all a great big, that cool is quite big. Got He's dressed big now for the, for the prom. Well, let's take him in. Yeah, you got the goose eggy. That's the second time I've done that shooting at antelope. <laughs> Get humped up over a thing and holding still, and I've got the wrong angle, and boy, that comes right back. Doesn't get any better when keep hitting that spot, neither does it. No. As far as it's been four or five years, it's healed up. Yeah. Well, here we are. Another gut pile. And see, John, those that I were watching down there, there was two or three of them. One of them that I had picked out had this rough like a mule on his Oh, boy. That's the one you shot at? I don't know. There was two or three. I don't think so. I think I shot at a bigger one. I really oh. did. He looked bigger. I'd say he's nine and a half to ten. What was he doing, running the fence here, Lynn? No, they came up to you over here. Oh, yeah. Where were you at, up on that knoll there? No, I was just down there in the fence. Oh. Oh. See, he headed back to the truck. Yeah, I seen him, and then go, he almost got to the truck, turned around and come back again. Yeah, when she shot, and they said they were headed back this way, there was no need of me going out on the road. No. You've done the right thing by coming back. I came back, and uh, then with Viv shot, you know, they, they didn't come fast. No. First, uh, No, when I shot, they ran back this way, but they just gathered up with the others and slowed down and milled around. So then I just... I figured, actually, I figured they were going to run down below us in the open ground and go right past John and I. So I just jumped up and left my fanny pack and hat and everything and took off. 
This is the biggest country for them to go into up here, though. That's why they went. Well, I've heard I that they would take... If they'd have seen somebody and not just heard the shooting, yeah. they might have busted up and run every yeah. direction, you know. Yeah. But the fact is, they didn't. It's all right. Well, I would draw down on the one buck. And, um, shot. Oh, really? Yeah, because if it went the other way, you know, started going the other way, I was going to take a crack at it. And how far away was it? 600 yards. Oh. And, you know, I was shooting downhill quite a ways, and I aimed about two foot, had about two foot over the top of it. Well, I aimed, you said hold on his back, and I did. I held it right on his back, and he was just walking, so I didn't have to lead him. And I was on that dirt hummock. I might not have had it tight enough to my shoulder is why it got me. Are you looking down over top of the scope, too? That yeah. Was, so it's going to come up and get you. And then I didn't follow my shot, because when the scope got me, see, it just kind of startled me. And I just, when I pulled the gun away, he was still running, so I just got up on my knees and shot again, but... Well, it worked out. Yeah. Could have worked out. As much as you think you got to figure it out, they still could have still slipped between the cracks on us. Yeah. But I just thought, sure, once Viv shot, they was going to circle and take the low ground. Again, if they'd have saw somebody, maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, that's a good one, Lynn. You know trophy, but he's a good one. He's a good 10-incher. Hey, Bob and Lois, you guys still see anything over there? Same way. Well, Lindy had him run right up his throat. He got one of them. That's good. You don't get them for two days, three days, and all of a sudden you got two down. Nice day. Nice job. Beautiful weather. Hey, Viv? Yeah. Viv? What do you think? Somebody has to see everything, is what I think. <laughs> I don't see no any though. None here. Viv set. Viv set. Right out there yesterday. And she went up through the wash and got a couple of shots at him. While she was up there, another seven came in behind and walked right past them bales, right across the road. But we just got back from about a 10 mile hike. Chuck wagon. Hey, Law. Chuck wagon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> chuck wagon time. Hey, John. How's the chuck wagon looking? Never looked bad. <laughs> Where's Lynn? What do you think? Yesterday we were looking at 30 head of ammo over here today. We're just looking at the field they were in. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to go up there and maybe see. From the top. Yep. Okay. We'll shut her off for now, right? Yeah. Okay. For some reason, it's not going to be a big shot. It's having some good.